Welcome back to the Energy Academy Australia. Today, we're taking a closer look at the National Electricity Market, or NEM, Australia's largest electricity market. The NEM operates across Eastern Australia, covering most of the population of Queensland, New South Wales, including Canberra and Jarvis Bay, Victoria, South Australia, and Tasmania. It's an energy-only market, meaning that generators are only paid for the electricity that they produce and does not have a capacity market in which generators are also receiving payment for supplying additional generating capacity. The NEM is operated by the Australian Energy Market Operator, or AMO, who performs the role of system operator. AMO is responsible for managing the day-to-day -day operations of the grid, overseeing the generation of electricity, as well as managing the financial transactions between various market participants. We'll take a closer look at AMO's other responsibilities in the next episode. Supply and demand in the NEM is balanced every five minutes via the real-time spot market, where generators bid to supply power and demand bids to buy power. The NEM is a centrally dispatched system, meaning that AMO is ultimately in charge of deciding who is dispatched and when. AMO accepts bids going from the cheapest to most expensive until supply meets demand. All generators in the bid stack then get paid the marginal clearing price of the region. When demand is high or supply falls short, energy prices can spike dramatically, sometimes hitting the market price cap, which is $20,300 per megawatt hour as of July 2025. Conversely, when there is an oversupply of electricity, prices can drop, often going down to negative $1,000 per megawatt hour. While the energy market balances the system at a five-minute level, grid frequency must be managed continuously to keep it at 50 Hz. This is where Frequency Control Ancillary Services, or FCAS, comes in. FCAS corrects deviations from the grid target frequency caused by sudden changes in supply or demand. As more variable renewables like wind and solar come online, these services are becoming increasingly important to maintain grid stability. The NEM is a zonal market, meaning each of the five regions has its own electricity price. This is determined by the different characteristics of each region, including its generation mix. As of 2025, the three most populous regions of the NEM Queensland, New South Wales, and Victoria still rely on coal for the majority of their generation. However, the proportion of energy coming from wind and solar is increasing in all three regions. Tasmania gets most of its electricity from hydroelectric dams. Wind power is also growing in the state, allowing for more energy to be exported to mainland Australia. Meanwhile, South Australia relies on natural gas, wind, and solar power, with rooftop solar making up a sizable portion of its generation. Throughout the NEM, there is a rise in behind-the-meter generation and demand-side flexibility. Rooftop solar and home batteries mean that households are increasingly generating their own electricity and selling the excess back to the grid. At certain times, rooftop solar is the largest source of generation in the NEM. All of these developments make the NEM a fast-changing and complex market. In our next episode, we'll explore the key players in the NEM. Generators, retailers, networks, and the regulatory bodies keeping everything in check. I'll see you there.